is a quintessential part of fighting games. The very nature of a one-on-one -on -one duel means that there will always be one sole winner and one sole loser. And the lack of a team to pin one's losses on can result in matches that get saltier than a cracker factory. This is the story of Sonic Fox vs. Perfect Legend. A Mortal Kombat grudge match so salty that it went down in history as being one of the most embarrassingly one-sided sets in all of esports. Some backstory on the monumental feud. Perfect Legend was once considered the strongest Mortal Kombat player of all time, a title he earned from being one of the few players to win the EVO Championship Series in back-to-back -back years. This, along with other achievements, namely winning Major Dead or Alive and Injustice Gods Among Us tournaments at EVO and CEO respectively, cemented his indomitable reputation. It's anyone. It's super oh, Is it? no! Is this gonna kill? That's it! That's it! Will this kill? The damage? I don't think so, but he's gonna be standing! No! 4 2 3 though! Oh, he oh, caps it! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Perfect legend! And he all jumped. of you can hold that! All of you! And he Foxy, the forward you two can three. all! Hold that! On the other hand, while Sonic Fox might be renowned as an esports legend nowadays, their godlike prowess was less well known back in 2015. While at this point, they already had multiple impressive notches in their belts, such as Evil Wins in Injustice and Mortal Kombat 10, they were still new enough on the scene that veterans like Perfect Legend assumed they would be a flash in the pan. After all, there are countless esports players who quickly rise to prominence before fizzling out, and Perfect Legend figured Sonic Fox would just be another one of those forgotten former champs. Try, he is trying to space out that okay. down. Oh, oh no. no, he missed the NGP. The problem, that was huge. The problem with that is he's catching it with the very tip of the. Oh, and, and that, that is going, is to, going do to be it. it. Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox wins $60,000. He's been playing so well all season. He's been dominant throughout every single week. The tension between the two players reached its boiling point at Summer Jam 9 in August of 2015. Perfect Legend was dead set on proving he was the superior Mortal Kombat 10 player, and thus an epic first to 10 match versus Sonic Fox was arranged. It was said to be a true test of old guard versus new wave, veteran versus upstart. But then Sonic Fox demolished Perfect Legend 10 to nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Uh, yeah. I don't think it lived up to the hype, but I think we may have learned something here. Uh, I'm sure did, that Sonic we, Fox is going to make some kind of pop off. It did, doesn't really matter. Did we, did we really learn anything? No. No, we learned that Sonic Fox is still better than Perfect Legend. That's about all that we learned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so GG, you guys. You want to follow me? I'm on Twitter. To, he didn't even have to pull out Predators. Bullshit. Yeah. In a pop off of epic proportions, Sonic Fox laid into the humiliated foe, blasting Perfect Legend for always making excuses for his losses. As if to prove Sonic's point, Perfect Legend immediately countered that he could win against Sonic if they played Aaron Black, a character not used in their just concluded duel. And so, it was declared that the first to 10 would be expanded to one last best of five, with the winner taking home all the marbles. This time, Sonic Fox played Aaron Black, as requested, and still wipe the floor with Perfect Legend, three to zero. That uh, follow-up doesn't lead to any actual big damage. So PL, oh man, he, he might lose here. And now, Sonic Fox, all the meter in the world. Does not cancel the command grab this time. This time he tries to jump, gets tagged, it's over. It's that was supposed to be his round, dude. Oh my god, and the Brutal, oh just because. Yeah, biggest stop, biggest stop, because. biggest stop. On that day, Perfect Legend went down in history as the first man to lose a first to 10, zero to 13, a reputation that would supersede his accomplishments to become his legacy. As for Sonic Fox, their incredible performance proved they were no mere pretender. They were here to stay, carving out a piece of FGC history in style.